All right, dear folks. Here I got my um, Galaxy Note 4. So here we show it working on its own. However, when you download an app called SideSync from Samsung, it will allow you to leave the phone and connect your phone to your computer screen, which you can move over to the side. You can swipe the screens on your phone. You can make a phone call. Um, pretty much anything you want to do with your cell phone, you can do with this one. Make phone calls. And check your Facebook. Play some games. You want to play some Candy Crush, no problem. It'll load that up for you. And remember, it's loading from here. So, let's go back home. So pretty much anything you can do on your cell phone, you can now do on your computer, including answering phone calls. You can even go through the net on the phone as well. You can still use even your Google. Good morning, Google. What's the temperature for tomorrow? Tomorrow morning in Scarborough on M1J, expect a temperature of 10 degrees. And it's still working through your laptop. So that's one way of screen mirroring. That's one option. So now I'm gonna click the button on my phone. It's gonna turn it off here and it's gonna come back here. And as you can see, it still has that page up. So I'm gonna hit home page. And we're gonna to go to my TV now. Screen mirroring part two. So we're gonna to go to the menu. We're gonna to go to the additional menu. Right, not Bluetooth, so let's cancel that. We're gonna go into, there's a function there for screen mirroring. So I'm gonna click on screen mirroring. Yes, let's continue. So side sync will close. And there's my TV. Now this is an older smart TV and from 2011. So you had to purchase the all share cast hub separately. So it will connect. Now as it's connecting, I will need the remote to change the channel. Okay. So now we have all share cast on. As you can see the box is blinking. So now we need to enter it. Tap on all screen share. Let's click on that. Now they're going to try and communicate with each other. And there we go. It's loaded up on the TV screen. So this is screen mirror number two. So now you can scroll across all the different pages. Now of course it's not a touchscreen TV so I won't be, I can still do what is the temperature in Toronto tomorrow? Okay, so it will still communicate. It will still talk to you back from the TV. What is the current price of Tesla stocks? Now you can check out stock price of Tesla stocks what year did YouTube start YouTube was founded in 2005 so there you go now you can also turn it sideways so I'm not going to be able to play any video 
Um, I could probably use this. Nope. That's just an app. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, we might be able to get some video, so let's click on YouTube. And click on that. Some of my closest moments with my son revolve around hockey. And uh, though I don't take him on those uh, early morning practices anymore, I can still follow him along. And there you go. So you can pretty much stream whatever's on your phone, on your TV, using all Sharecast Hub for a non smart TV. Beyond um, before 2012. After 2012, they do have all share cast built into the TV. So you just it's a matter of going into your menu and clicking on screen mirroring and searching for your TV. Now this will also work with um, Google Cast and Roku Stick or any other such media sharing device. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and have yourself a good day.